Right now, the Wisconsin Office of Lawyer Regulation alleges Michael Gableman broke rules of conduct, what it means for the former state Supreme Court justice. Also, prosecutors in Donald Trump's New York hush money case are asking the judge not to dismiss the conviction, what they're saying about sentencing the president-elect. And later, News Street now steps into the ring to hear from a boxing coach on the health of the sport after the weekend fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You're watching News Three Now at 5. Well, one of the lawyers at the center of the investigations into the 2020 elections faces new complaints from the state agency that oversees Wisconsin lawyers. The list of complaints argues former Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman unethically withheld information. That is, that's as he appeared before various courts while investigating unproven claims of election fraud. Political reporter Will Keneally joins us with more, Will. Well, back in 2021, Gableman was investigating how Madison and Green Bay ran their elections. And as part of that, he threatened to jail those two cities' mayors for not providing testimony. But Gableman had to make that case before a Wisconsin judge and get that judge to sign off on the arrest orders. And he did so without, without the attorneys for the mayors present to argue the case against him. Now, when you do that, you have to follow certain rules, as law professor John Gross explains. And he says, uh, to be clear, uh, Asking for that remedy is an extreme remedy, and so when you're doing something like that, you have to put all your cards on the table. You cannot treat it like you're arguing your side of the case. You have to argue both sides of the case. Now, uh, the complaint also alleges Gableman disregarded a duty that he had to Wisconsin's assembly speaker who hired him. Now, in general, lawyers can't use the information they receive while working with a client against that client. Now, Gableman backed a recall effort against the lawmaker who hired him. Now, News 3 Now did place multiple phone calls to multiple numbers that we believe to be associated with Gableman, but we have not yet heard back. All right, Will, thank you. President-elect Donald Trump continues to announce picks for top jobs inside his administration. The president-elect nominating Dr. Mehmet Oz to lead the Senate for Medicare and Medicaid. Dr. Oz, a heart surgeon, well-known TV doctor, as well as a former candidate for the United States Senate in the state of Pennsylvania. President-elect Trump said in a statement that Dr. Oz would work alongside Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who Trump wants to, quote, heal the Department of Health and Human Services. Prosecutors in President-elect Trump's New York hush money case are arguing that his conviction should not be dismissed. In a court filing today, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg acknowledged the case raises unprecedented legal questions. Bragg said his office is open to putting the sentencing on hold. Bragg asked the court to consider postponing a decision until after Trump completes his upcoming term in 2029. I think to just trash the jury verdict because Trump was elected to be president again doesn't necessarily legally make sense. Having said that, acknowledging either based on what the sentence is, maybe it's just a fine, or when the sentence is given, maybe it's after the administration, acknowledging that we're not talking about, you know, Donald Smith, we're talking about Donald Trump, um, I think that does make sense. Today's filing comes as Judge Juan Marchand weighs whether the Supreme Court's ruling on presidential immunity should have prevented jurors from seeing certain evidence during Trump's trial and if the verdict should be tossed. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries will retain his role after winning re-election today. The representative from New York was picked during an internal party vote. While the Democratic leader will be the party's nominee for House Speaker, the gavel is expected to go to Speaker Mike Johnson as Republicans continue to hold a majority in the new year. Let's get a check on the weather now. Another day of rain could turn into snow later this week. It was mild today, though, kind of Not dreary and cloudy, though. Kelly Slifka is out on the weather patio. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, another cloudy, uh, gray day. Uh, we can't quite buy the uh, sun. It wasn't too far away into Illinois, but uh, didn't make it up here. Uh, looks like we are going to be quiet tonight for the most part. It will be tomorrow that we can expect some snow showers. We still have to deal with this wind on the backside of a cold front. We have sustained winds. 10 miles here in Madison, but you go down toward Monroe. It's 24 mile per hour winds. They're coming in out of the west, and that's bringing in some cooler temperatures. And it's going to remain cold. Uh, starting tomorrow, and that'll be continuing pretty much going right into uh, next week. We are looking at some snow accumulation. The amounts are still uncertain, 
and exactly where it falls is still a bit, little bit uncertain. And it looks like it's going to remain fairly active going into uh, next week. Right now we're sitting at 49 as we slowly continue to drop west winds up, uh, up there at 10 miles an hour. We're going to see temperatures continue to fall 50 right now in Middleton, also Verona. So not too bad yet considering this time of the year, but we'll continue to see cooler temperatures tonight with mostly cloudy skies. We drop down into the 40s. We'll talk about that snow potential coming our way Thursday morning. See how much we might get coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. And stay up to date on the weather with our first Warren forecast weather app, hourly forecasts, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it. It's free. It's in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. Police in Watertown say they arrested a man who allegedly stabbed another man. The stabbing happened at around 10 p.m. Friday in the 600 block of Western Avenue. A 39-year-old man was found on the ground with multiple stab wounds, with witnesses giving first aid. On Saturday, officers arrested a 34-year-old man. He faces several charges, including a first degree intentional homicide. Right now, the victim is in stable condition. The prosecution wrapping up its case in the trial of a 26 year old man who illegally entered the country and is accused of murdering Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley. On the third day of the trial today, the judge heard more testimony from law enforcement officers and medical examiners about the gruesome crime. The 26 year old Jose Ibarra from Venezuela has pleaded not guilty to murder and other charges in connection to the death of the 22 year old Riley who was killed on a morning jog in February. Lakin exhibited blunt force head trauma as well as signs of asphyxia. She has a combination of abrasions, which are scrapes, as well as contusions, which is just the fancy medical way of saying a bruise, so bleeding under the skin, as well as lacerations. Defense attorneys plan to present testimony from witnesses, including the defendant's brother. They argue there is not sufficient evidence for a conviction. Ibarra waived his right to a jury trial. The judge will be deciding this case. Roundies is settling with the Wisconsin Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection following allegations that it manipulated products net weight to drive up prices. Roundies had 81 of their 105 Wisconsin stores inspected. A total of 1,200 products had a net weight that caused customers to receive significantly less than what they originally paid for. Roundies did not admit to any violations but will pay just over a one million dollars in fees, civil forfeitures, and surcharges. There could be a big court fight in the tech world. Bloomberg reporting the Justice Department plans to ask a judge by tomorrow to force Google's parent company to sell its popular internet browser Chrome. The latest news on a potential move comes after a landmark ruling back in August, finding that Google created an illegal monopoly on those search engines. And Google plans to appeal for the company. This could be a substantial blow. Owning the number one browser provides critical user data for its advertisers. The judge will not make an official decision until August of next year, but he could go against the DOJ recommendation to pursue a different course altogether. For Chrome users, the difference would be relatively minor. Rural Wisconsin businesses will receive federal assistance to install renewable energy setups. It's part of the Rural Energy for America program through the USDA. Farms in Grant, Lafayette, and Marquette counties will receive grants and loans exceeding $138,000. The USDA says projects projects in these counties alone will save these farms over $10,000 a year. The funding comes from the Inflation Reduction Act. UW Health hosting a pancreas cancer awareness night. That's later this week. The event will highlight the UW Health Carbone Cancer Center's peer mentor program. Cancer Survivors or Caregivers is a new program that supports patients and their loved ones impacted by pancreas cancer. The American Cancer Society says by the end of 2024, more than 66,000 people in the U.S. will have been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. We spoke with one peer mentor who survived cancer about why she helped start this program. Those people who are just becoming diagnosed can meet with someone who maybe years ago was diagnosed and is a long-term survivor so that those who are new have a chance to tell their story, to have a mentor who is understanding, empathetic, um, and has their own experiences that they can share. 
Attendance is free. You can go in person or virtually. You have to register either at the door or online. More details about the event can be found on the event's Facebook page as well as at Pancreas Cancer Awareness Night at the Pile Center. A first worn traffic alert in downtown Madison. Right now, portions of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Doty Street are closed. Crosswalks will remain open. Cars southbound on MLK will not have access. Vehicles are allowed to turn left on Doty Street. If you're traveling north on MLK, be prepared to make a U-turn at Wilson Street. Doty Street will be one lane. This is phase one of a two-phase plan. Phase two begins on November 26th. Wisconsin State Fair may be a ways away, but it's already making a big announcement today. The fair revealing Darius Rucker will perform on the main stage next year. The Hootie and the Blowfish frontman has carved a successful path for himself as a soloist, winning a Grammy in 2013 for his cover of Old Crow Medicine Show's Wagon wheel. Rucker will bring his unique sound to the Bank 5 main stage August 8th and tickets to the show will go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. The 2025 Wisconsin State Fair runs July 31st to August 10th. And coming up on News 3 Now at 5, what new data is showing about this year's fall temperatures? Plus, after the highly anticipated match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fails to live up to the hype, we'll hear from a local boxer on their thoughts about whether these fights are helping or hurting the sport. On Wall Street, the Dow falls about 121 points in Tuesday trading, but the Nasdaq was up 196. The S&P adds 23. We'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now, brought to you by Cardinal Heating and Air Conditioning. I thought with everything going on, we could all use a little smile break. So this one is on Groover Law Offices. You're welcome. They've been rocking audiences for decades. It's Bug Hat. Performing live November 30th. Take it Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. I just want to make with special guest, the Empty Pockets. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Legendary rock band Fog Hat. Live in concert November 30th at Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. It's your last chance. Menards 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. Transform your home with an 11% rebate on new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream bathroom and save on luxury tubs and showers. Customize your kitchen and get an 11% rebate on Clearview Cabinetry. Or go even bigger and get an 11% rebate on a new garage. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save. Menards 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. Save big money at Menards. You don't need to battle addiction alone. Contact the great people at Wood Violet Recovery today. You could be on your way to recovery the same day. Wood Violet Recovery works with a wide range of insurance networks, so a large portion of your treatment may be covered. Wood Violet Recovery will create the treatment plan that best suits your needs. Unlike other rehab facilities, phones and laptops are welcome. Today may feel dark, but there's a brighter tomorrow. Contact Wood Violet Recovery now. Big, beautiful sectional for just $9.87 with a free ottoman. Big deals. Black Friday deals. All month long, up to 60% off list, only at Slumberland. Relax in this power reclining sofa for just $7.97 with a free power recliner. Deals so big, prices so low, all month long. Like this incredible sofa for just $2.98. Black Friday, all month long sale. Get these deals while they last, only at Slumberland Furniture. Heck yeah. At Gruber Law Offices, you pay us nothing until we win your case. It costs you nothing up front to get the results and compensation you deserve. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Tonight, we give you an inside look at the new grocery store coming to Madison Southside. Check out what it hopes to bring the people in this neighborhood. Then a deep dive with Madison's Hate Crimes Task Force, revealing the disturbing trends happening right here in our backyard. That's tonight at 6. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. 
Tyson versus Paul. It was the talk of really the world for those yeah. looking for nostalgia on Friday night. But for many, they were left rather disappointed. Others in Madison's boxing scene, they didn't even watch it. Our Kyle Pazorski got reaction from a Madison boxing coach today, along with a few lessons. <laughs> I don't think it did anything good for the sport. Boxing coach David Franklin has been around combat sports for most of his life, but the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul Netflix matchup is one he preferred never happened. I don't want to see the best fight the best. Giving some harsh feedback to the man formerly known as Iron Mike. His footwork isn't there at all. I mean, he's, he's stumbling around. As well as influencer Jake Paul. If he wants to gain respect, from true boxers, and he needs to fight true boxers. The owner of Madison Boxing Gym tells me Friday night's glitch-filled prize fight not only let people down, but harmed the sport struggling to stay relevant as other combat sports have risen in popularity. So what's kind of irritating is boxing has been making a comeback. His main takeaway of the fight? Well, he says it was just a money grab. Oh, the average fan, they, oh, Tyson's fighting. You know, I love Tyson back in the day. I'll watch Tyson fight. Um, that was kind of the main draw for it. With that, it was time for me to step into the ring, seeing if I have any chance as a fighter. Because if a 58-year-old retired fighter and internet influencer can make millions, so can I, right? <laughs> this is even more realistic than the actual fight. My entrance, though, that eh, could use some work. In Madison, Kopzarski, News 3 Now. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, way to go. <laughs> Eric's giving him advice. Put very, your hands up. I'm not off. very scared of Kyle right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. The Paul versus Tyson match is available to watch on Netflix. A good job, Kyle. Yes. Well, preliminary data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows this fall is on pace to be one of the warmest on record. According to the data, the average temperature across the lower 48 this season is more than 7 degrees above normal. Now, for comparison, the warmest fall on record was back in 2016. The temperature was a little over 4 degrees above average. Forecasters say millions of Americans will still be dealing with above average warmth through the end of the month, at least. Let's get a look at your first warm forecast now. Meteorologist Kelly Slift, good joining us. Kelly? Yeah, another day where we were well above average, and in general, even though we're going to see some cooler temperatures, uh, we're going to be pretty close to average, it looks like, going over the next couple of days. But we got more rain. What else is new? Look at the uh, totals that we had down toward Monroe, about an inch and a half. Some of those lighter blues indicating the most amounts, an inch to an inch and a half. In the Madison area, the west side, maybe upwards of an inch for some, but generally about a half to as much as three quarters of an inch across southern Wisconsin. Boy, was it windy today. Right around the noon, that peak wind gust. I was out here on the patio, almost got blown out of here. 40 mile per hour gust, 45 in Monroe. Still pretty breezy out here right now. We've got a secondary cold front that's going to slide through. So these temperatures are going to continue to cool down. This storm system is really wrapped up, so it's going to kind of just wind itself out. Right now it's over northern Minnesota. It's just going to hang out up there. But what it's going to do is trigger another surface low over Indiana and Ohio. This is very unusual. It's going to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. You see that rain spreading in Michigan. This is tomorrow afternoon. We'll be cold enough. Some scattered snow showers starting to move in as some colder air starts to move in from the west. But this uh, secondary low that develops over Michigan will also fuel some rain and then some snow. And this snow coming in Thursday morning, here we're at 8 o'clock, could be coming down at a pretty good clip. Could be uh, really reducing visibilities, maybe some heavy snow at times, reducing visibilities down to a half of a mile. It's not going to last long. Most of it should be out of here early in the afternoon. But once again, that's our bout of snow that we can expect. Now, tomorrow, can't rule out some scattered snow showers, maybe mixed with a little bit of light rain, really no accumulation with that. But it may uh, briefly reduce the visibility. It's mainly on Thursday. This is something we're going to watch for the possibility of issuing an alert day for Thursday morning. It's going to be a short window. Some gusty winds and also some of that heavy, wet snow that's going to be coming down at a pretty good clip. Could see some accumulation, especially Madison to the east. So a little bit of uncertainty how much will fall. This is one computer model, if you will. It looks like maybe some lake enhanced snow coming in off of Lake Michigan, where they could be talking about an inch or two. Uh, lesser amounts in the mass in some areas to the west, maybe just a few flakes of snow with that. Meantime, tonight we'll look at mostly cloudy skies, temperatures dropping through the 40s, still actually running above average. Tomorrow morning can't rule out a brief shower. We'll 
see quiet conditions uh, early in the afternoon, but later in the afternoon, some of that colder air races on in. We'll see our temperatures fall from the 40s in the morning into the upper 30s and some uh, brief snow showers expected then. Now we're talking about Thursday morning, the swath of snow coming in from the north. See how it just moves from north to south throughout the morning hours. Here we're at 11 o'clock. I know this seems upside down because the, grain, the green, the rain, is up north while the snow is down the south. But this storm system is so wound up that that warm air is wrapping all the way around that low. And eventually that snow will taper off to some rain showers by about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon as temperatures climb into the 40s. I don't expect major problems with it, but just going to be on the lookout for some of that brief uh, heavy snow reducing those visibilities. 50 yet in Janesville, 49 in Madison and across Dane County, 50 in Sauk City, 48 in Wanakee, also Cottage Grove. So our first warm forecast, we are calling for the snow showers tomorrow afternoon at 42, likely in the morning hours with falling temperatures in the afternoon. Then we'll see that bout of snow mainly Thursday morning into the early afternoon. May get some slushy accumulation, especially if you're traveling to the east over to Jefferson or maybe up toward Watertown. A couple of dry days, then we're back to some active weather early next week. All right, our first warm traffic, we are talking about some slowdowns, uh, typical spots on the uh, Belt Line, especially as you're headed uh, Fish Hatchery Road over toward Verona Road. You can see uh, the uh, westbound lanes uh, speeds down to uh, 41 miles per hour. That's your first warm traffic. All right, Kelly, thank you. After the break, kids are already thinking of those toy wish lists for the holidays. We'll take a look at the hottest toys of the season, how you can snag one before it's too late. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Score the lowest prices of the year right now at Brothers Main's Black Friday Sale. You won't find lower prices anywhere and enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming and sharing this time with the family. Stay strong for Grandpa. We'll see you at the field. When you leave this earth, don't leave any regrets. Crest Funeral and Cremation Services helped us make sure Grandpa's never forgotten. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Services because we know your memories matter. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Michael is about to retire. All right. <laughs> Here's what's going into his retirement. Very large community of acting students. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Four years of me trying to keep up with him. Family that loves him. <laughs> he taught me how to ski this year. He's a world-class teacher. He's a chosen family member. Yeah. It's not retirement, it's a new chapter in life. What's retirement? Your retirement is the sum of your life's work. Now what? Protect your life's work and help secure and grow your retirement savings with Prudential. I've been a motorcyclist for a little over 20 years now. I always wanted to have a motorcycle my whole life, and dashing helps me support that hobby. I love the flexibility of dashing. I love the, the connections I make. Dashing lets me do what I want, when I want. I'm my own boss now. If dashers can maintain their freedom, flexibility, and independence, and have access to benefits, that would really be the best of both worlds. Portable benefits would help me cover medical costs, dental, vision. That would be fantastic. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. The holidays have always been a special time for everyone in the Fields family. And we have some great news for you. It's Fields Holiday Sales Event going on right now. New inventory is arriving daily. All new makes and models to choose from and all with end of year pricing. Happy Holidays from Fields during Fields Holiday Sales Event where you can get a great offer like this. Test drive the all new EX90 Recharge Electric and qualify for Volvo Sign and Drive with first payment waived. Costco members also enjoy a bonus. Go to VolvoCarsMadison.com. Happy Holidays from your trusted partner for over 30 years, Avondale Roofing, steep slope experts since 1988. You're watching News 3 Now at 5.
The holidays are fast approaching. That also means kids are already making those toy wish lists. Michael George shows us the hottest toys this year and how to find them before it's too late. The hunt for that holiday toy every kid wants has already started. If you're looking for some of the hottest ones of the year, it may already be pretty hard to find them. Marissa Silva with the Toy Insider gave us the inside scoop on what toys are already flying off the shelves, starting with a viral hit on TikTok. This is the color Wonder Magic Light Brush from Crayola. What makes it magic? It only colors on this special paper, so no mess. It works just like a regular paint brush. Absolutely, yeah, but no But there's mess. no paint. Yes, which parents will really appreciate. Another toy on many wish lists Ms. Rachel. Hi, friends. A doll selling for $30, modeled after the YouTube sensation. It's a little horse. This is the Speak and Sing Miss Rachel doll. I'm so happy. VR goggles to step into my secret lab. Bill Nye's chemistry lab, also selling for $30, turns a smartphone into VR goggles. Kids can learn the basic building blocks of chemistry. Hatchimals, a top toy seller year after year, is offering this $70 Alive Surprise Mystery Hatch. <laughs> but if you're looking for something on a smaller budget, Barbie is back and much smaller. When you twist it up and you pop off the top, oh. you get little Barbie and Ken dolls. Wow. Toys from the mini Barbie Land collection sell for as low as $3. So how do you score a hard to find toy before they're all gone? One of the best things that you can do is shop in person. Go to your local retail store where you're not competing with the entire country to find some of the hottest toys. And the time is now. Many Black Friday sales have already started. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Criminals trying to capitalize on toys this time of the year by selling knockoffs. Experts say it's important to only buy toys from trusted retailers and distributors. We'll get a final check of your first warrant forecast when we come back. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel, the house that angels built. Maddie has heart failure, and it can't be cured. Our neighbor is using a grace, so I asked Maddie's doctor about them. Turns out, they can help us. They're already managing Maddie's breathing trouble better. A grace, authentic care and connection. Visit agrace.org to learn more. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and free fitness memberships at more than 25,000 locations. Call 1-888-296-4080 today to get your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-888-296-4080. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. Steinhoffels is your mattress destination for your best night's sleep. Enjoy the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest mattress. Right now, save up to $600. Add an adjustable base and save up to $400 more. Upgrade your sleep to the Beautyrest Black, where luxury meets innovation. Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $36 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Plus, you get up to $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machines. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. More ways to win.
Find your perfect jackpot. Ho Chunk Gaming Medicine. Experience the Channel 3000 News app today. Enjoy a website like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, can Matt Gates be confirmed as Attorney General? The divide on Capitol Hill over releasing an ethics report about the former congressman amid the allegation that he had sex with a minor. And how Vice President like J.D. Vance plans to fight for Gates. That's tonight here on the CBS Evening News. Finally at five, a canine-centered cruise is setting sail next year. I mean, what could go wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. The Margaritaville at Sea Islander ship will depart from Tampa next November. The cruise can accommodate 250 dogs and their two-legged family members. Onboard activities include dog shows, trainings, costume contests, splash stations, and puppy massages. <laughs> Passengers with pups will have balconies with private relief stations, as well as a designated pet butler. The cruise line will require up-to-date vaccinations and health checks from all pets before they board the ship. Additional information, including pricing, will be released in the coming weeks. This has got Tate written all over it. Your dog. He'd, he'd end up in the ocean. There's no <laughs> doubt. He'd go over for it. Fetch. <laughs> Let's go to Kelly. Final check. Uh, yeah, we got some winds out there yet on the back side of the storm. That's going to be the story over the next 10 days. We've got a lot of storm systems headed our way, so a lot of wind and a lot of precipitation on the way as well. Tomorrow, some scattered snow showers as those winds pick up. That temperature will, well, that high will occur in the morning. Temperatures falling into the uh, 30s by the afternoon. More importantly, a Thursday morning, it looks like we'll have a band of some moderate snow coming through, maybe some slushy accumulation. Madison areas to the east should be drier by Friday and Saturday, but more uh, rain and snow next week. All right, we're back in 30 minutes with News 3 Now at 6. The CBS Evening News is next.